Today's short-term treasury is offering a yield in excess of 5%. That's the highest yield in a very long time. REITs on the other hand are only yielding about 4% on average and that's despite being a lot riskier than treasuries. REIT share prices have crashed by about 30% over the past year and many people appear to fear that we'll see a lot more losses if we go into a recession. Hey this is Yossi, I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and today's video I want to explain to you why I'm buying REITs, I'm not buying treasuries despite them now offering much higher yields. But before going into it if you could please like this video it really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Thanks a lot for your support. So yes treasuries are today offering very attractive yields even compared to REITs but despite that there are two main reasons why I think that REITs offer much better risk to reward in today's market. The first reason is inflation. So yes you, you can get a 5% yield on, on a treasury but this is the nominal yield it's not the real yield adjusted for inflation so if you now think that we're gonna have I don't know 4% inflation in the coming years that would mean that you're really earning a 1% real return and so you need to ask yourself are you really getting ahead with a 1% real return or you really aren't and people always say that treasuries are risk-free but they really aren't when you consider that inflation is today the, the biggest risk arguably in the market and they don't offer much protection for this because if now suddenly inflation accelerates let's say to 10% and I'm not saying this is going to happen but if it does your purchasing power is going to be permanently impaired because you're not protected with treasuries. REITs on the other hand offer much better protection against inflation in the long run. Now this doesn't mean that they aren't immune to volatility, it doesn't mean that you're not ever going to suffer losses, in fact REITs are down 30% over the past year but if you are long-term oriented you're likely going to come out ahead, earn higher returns than the rate of inflation in the long run. A lot of studies have been done on this topic, REITs typically outperform and generate strong total returns following time periods of high inflation and I think that this is what we're going to see in the coming years as well because now over the past two years yes REIT share prices have been crashing but their cash flows have actually grown very considerably. Even today rents still keep growing rapidly in most property sectors. If you look at multifamily, single family rentals, warehouses, cell towers, farmland, uh, data centers, there's a lot of property sectors where rents still keep growing at a solid pace. Offices are really the exception that most people seem to focus on but this is a minority of the REIT sector and so when you invest in REITs the point what I'm trying to make here is that you're not buying them just for the yield you're buying them for the yield plus the growth and so your dividend yield might be 4% but if at the same time your cash flow is growing by 6% per year that will get you to double digital returns and obviously the market is not always rational in the short run you're gonna see cases like over the past year where REIT share prices dropped significantly even as cash flows kept on rising but overall if you're patient you have a long time horizon like me I'm focused on the next 10 20 30 years it's very likely that the REIT that's growing at the mid to high single digit space while paying a 5% dividend yield is going to generate much higher returns likely the double of treasuries. And then the second reason which is even more important especially today is valuations and upside. REITs today are very heavily discounted this not may seem obvious to a lot of you because you look at the dividend yield and you see a REIT yielding 4% you're quick to assume that the REIT is probably fairly valued or even overvalued in today's high interest rate environment but what a lot of people appear to ignore here is that the dividend is just a capital allocation policy and so a lot of REITs today have very low payout ratios and this is the reason why the yields are so low. To give you an example Alexandria Real Estate has a 4.2% dividend yield but this is because its payout ratio is just above 50%. Its real cash flow yield what really the shareholders are earning is closer to 8% but the REIT pays out about half in dividends and then the other half is reinvested in the growth of the REIT. I think that this is a good thing because the REIT has a lot of investment opportunities with very attractive return potential and it also makes it more tax efficient for investors because whatever the REIT retains is not taxed immediately this is going to be tax deferred but my point here is that just looking at the dividend yield to get a feel of the valuation doesn't really make sense because once again payout ratios are really low today in the REIT sector if you really look at the cash flow yield uh, the, the, the yields are really high today a lot of REITs are yielding 10 to 15 percent uh, based on their FFO which stands for funds for operation which is a metric we use in the REIT sector to get an estimate of the cash flow then on top of that REITs also priced at very large discounts relative to the value of their property so in many cases you will have a REIT with a 500 million market cap but the value of its assets net of that might be closer to 1 billion and so again to take the example of Alexandria we estimate today that it's priced at a 40% discount to the fair value of its assets net of debt that's one of the biggest discounts ever for this company also this is not a company that's going through some severe difficulties on the contrary its rents are today growing so 
some of the fastest ever in the history of the company. In the last quarter, it was able to hike its rents by 20% plus on expiring leases. The company has a strong investment grade rated balance sheet, a really good track record. And so the, the point here again is that if you have even these very high quality REITs that are now so severely discounted. Recently, the investment firm Janus and Henderson came out with a recent study that showed that REITs are priced at a near 30% discount to their net asset value on average. And so these valuations are getting comparable to the times of the great financial crisis. And in case you are not there back then, REIT sold off very significantly, but this sell-off was way overdone. And just two years later, REITs had nearly tripled in value. I think that once more, the sell-off was way overdone. Obviously, REITs deserve to trade at slightly lower valuations because of the higher interest rates. But I think the market has overlooked the fact that REIT balance sheets are the strongest ever. So it doesn't have a large impact on their profitability. At the same time, the high inflation has greatly benefited them since it has led to higher rents. And so the market, I think, has overreacted once more. And so I think we'll see a lot of upside as valuations recover in the coming years. And so with that in mind, here you start to see that REITs have many components in the calculation of their total returns. There's the dividend yield, there is the growth. And then on top of that, there's still the upside from repricing at a higher valuation multiple. To get back to the example of Alexandria, it's paying a roughly 4% dividend yield, but it's also growing at about 6% per year. And then just to return to its NAV, it would need to rise by 50 to 100%. If you now take a more conservative estimate of its NAV, perhaps we'll say that it has 30% upside potential. If you think that it's going to achieve this upside within two to three years from now, that will get you to about 20% annual total returns over the coming few years. And so that's where you really start to see that REITs have the potential to deliver a lot higher returns than treasuries, despite offering relatively low yields, again, because payout ratios are so low in many cases. And so this is the reason why I prefer to buy REITs in today's market. They provide better inflation protection, they are growing, they pay a decent yield, and they have a lot of upside potential. Now, if you want to learn more about what REITs I'm buying at the moment, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link somewhere in the description of this video. It will give you immediate access to my entire REIT portfolio. Seeking Alpha doesn't always offer free trials, but they're active right now. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in REIT investing. And otherwise, once more, if you could please like this video, help me a lot. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.